Cupcake, would you like to be my friend? Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. And who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City! Pepper is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Pepper. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Pepper? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur! It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. Let us start. First off, choose what kind of clothes you will wear. What color do you want them to be? Great! Now choose the animal you want to be. Good choice. What color do you want to be? Would you like to wear glasses? Do you want to wear a hat? Well done. Now, if you want to... Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first... Let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Oh, hello! Welcome to the town! Where are you going, little one? To talk to Miss Rabbit, walk up to her and press the action button. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. If you keep walking, you can meet Peppa. My friend Peppa Pig. A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, you're here. Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. Why don't we say hello to him? 
Hello, Peppa. I see you have a new friend. Do you want to help? Excellent. I have just the task for you. Why don't you sit here and mix this bowl for me? Well done. You're a great mixer. We're going to make a lovely salad with these vegetables. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <laughs> Follow me, Mr. Potato. Do you like Mr. Potato? <laughs> Pepper does. <laughs> Mummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! <laughs> That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. Oh, would you mind turning it back on so I can read? Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't we go visit my granny and grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Awoo! Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? Chicken? What are you doing here? Good to see you, Peppa. Ah, I see you've brought a friend.
Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? Only two more chickens left. <coughs> Thank you. I think there's still one chicken missing. the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Yeah. Grandpa, what is this for? Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land? Follow me. Follow me. Hello, Mr. Bull. What is going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. 
We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. We'll let you get on with it. Is there a way to go through? Ho oh, ho, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. Shiny. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. I found a crab in the rock pool. Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa! Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches. Are you enjoying your time with Granny and Grandpa Pig? Yes, Mummy! <laughs> That's great. Now how about we find a spot on the sand to sit down? This place seems like a nice spot. Wait a minute. You can't go in like this. Oh, all right. Let's go. 
make a sand castle. First, put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over and then lift it off. Ta-da! And now, you can knock it down. I love sand castles. Parents' house. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see! Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello everyone, this is my new friend. Hello! a lovely drawing. Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? Lovely. It will look great on Pepper's wall. We go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. 
This goes from small to big. Very good. Children, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess! Today is Sports Day. Whoa! What is Sports Day? Sports Day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children. Start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! Come on, children! Very good, Peppa. And your friend is very fast. One last effort, children. You're almost at the finish line. Finished. Oh, congratulations. You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. Splendid! I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> 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 really old. Dinosaur! Not quite that old, George. Dinosaur? The throne is... I think it's too long for you. Let's go this way. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all the <laughs> ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes, we want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sure you would make a great queen, Peppa. <laughs> Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you will see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Ooh. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. It. 
Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Whose tracks are these? If we follow them, we'll find out. Maybe it's insects. What a lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? That should be enough. Madame Gazelle. Ah, excellent job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Children, who wants to hear a song? Me, 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 me. 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 Okay. 
Okay, then. Ooh, we're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Daddy Pig and George have come to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? <coughs> what was that? Ducks! What are you doing here? Are you hungry too? <coughs> Mummy, can we give them some food? We could, but it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy, we have to give them some food. Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full. Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit full. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please!
wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. This is the best snowman ever! We did it! Hooray! <laughs> I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> If you get too cold, Miss Rabbit will take us back in the balloon. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! Hello there. You two seem to be having loads of fun together. I wonder if Miss Rabbit will take us up in the balloon. Or we can keep... <laughs> Thank you. 
Peppa's house. Back home. Ah, oh, there you are. Peppa, we're taking you and your friends to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George, I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. You have arrived with Peppa and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> 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 through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look! Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. And there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. We found the museum. I love the museum. Dinosaur. <laughs> look, look. I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. Oh, today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places, even some that are very far away.
Peppa's house. Back home. This is my daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hello, Peppa. I see you have a new friend. George Dinosaur! <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. <laughs> Look who's here, George! George, why are you crying? Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur? Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it. We're good at finding things. to the muddy puddle. Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Let's go this way. Well, Daddy, Daddy! George's dinosaur is stuck in the tree. And we can't get it back. Stuck in the tree? <laughs> How did it ever get there? Let's take a look. Hmm. Perhaps instead of trying to reach it, it will be easier to make him come down to us. And how? going to do that, Daddy? Dinosaur. Well, I'm a bit of an expert in these things. <laughs> as simple as that. It worked. Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know dinosaurs could climb trees. Dinosaur. Good job. George got Mr. Dinosaur back and everyone is having a great time. What should we do now? You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Yay! Let's make a sand castle. First, put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over and then lift it off. Ta-da! And now, you can knock it down. I love sandcastles. Maybe the 
tree saying hello to us. Hello, Mr. Tree. Please don't say hello, silly. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles the tortoise? What's he doing up the tree? We need to get him down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles. We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. Oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> Good job. Now, Tiddles is safe. And everyone is having a great time. <laughs> Peppa's house. Back home. P 
Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig, didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes? Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun! Remember to visit the whole park! There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see! All right, then. Run along, children. Have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Again, again. I'll definitely skip the second round.
Well, Peppa, your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pool. Rock pool! Rock pool! And to the forest. You helped poor Tiddles the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> we got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. Peppa's house. 